Thompson takes over. Who, by the way, is very close to Joe Girardi. In the air out to deep left center. It's at the wall. It is off the top of the wall and back in play. Goldie on his way to the plate. And Arenado is at third standing up. And it's 1-0 St. Louis, a foot or two away from making this 2-0. But a long drive into left center. And it's a 1-0 Cardinal lead. And that's RBI number 50 for Nolan Arenado. Well, Nolan continues to rack him up and he racks a sinker down in the zone. We've talking about Falter using his fastball up. This one is down. And Nolan Arnato hits the fastball as well as anybody in baseball and especially the ball down. And this thing to your point very close from getting out of here. Here is Arnato. His two out triple back in the first gave the Cardinals the one nothing lead. And Nolan hits it out to deep left field. Schwarber going back at the wall. Gone! Arenado with a triple. And now a two-run homer. And he's driven it all three tonight. Nolan Arenado with home run number 15. Three-nothing. St. Louis. State mayhem moment two run shot from the Cardinal third baseman Nolan got himself a slider got the head out kept it fair pretty swing right there from Nolan Arenado we were talking before about getting some runs for Miles Michaelis that guy seems to be pitching in a nothing nothing ball game all the time well he got him three here early Nolan Arenado we're only in the third he's got the triple in the homer already Works from the stretch in a 3 2. And that'll be a base hit for Nolan Arenado. Around second, or first, I should say, two second. And now he is a single away from the cycle. Triple in the first, two run homer in the third. And now a double here in the sixth. Have yourself a day, Nolan Arenado. Got a slider from Nelson that just hung up in the zone. And was able to drive it down the line. The BJC difference maker. Just talking about that pitch, how good it's been. But it backed up on Nelson there. Well, he's got the extra base hits out of the way. Arenado hits it sharply to third. Bobbled. The throw is high. And Nolan is on base. And now on his way to second. Matt Veerling at third on a tough play and a hard hit ball. It's ruled an error. It's his first. If not, it's a cycle. I'm going to give it a hit. There have been 16 cycles in Cardinals history. It is rolled a base hit and an error on the throw. So Nolan Arenado has a cycle. It was a triple in the first inning. Two run homer in the third. Double down into the left field corner in the sixth. And now a base hit here in the eighth inning. And the first cycle by a Cardinal since April 27th of 2005. He gave up only four hits in eight innings. Rodzalana gets into one to left center field. Back at the track, at the wall. Rodzalana gets his first as a Cardinal. And St. Louis jumps on top one to nothing. About eight out of 17 in his career for Grudzelonic against Victor Santos. I guess that's a little bit of success, and now punctuating that with his first Cardinal home run. But some guys just do him well. That ball out over the plate, it's down, but he goes out there and rifles it. You talk about Grudzelonic being a gap hitter. He'll go to left center and right center. This time he finds. The first row of the seat sleep. You know, you could blindfold them, Nick, and they could touch that bag and know where they are. Rezzolonic just owns Santos. He's two for two today. And he's on with one out here at the second. Round for you usually 
say you're ready one batter too soon. The 2 1. In the air to right center field. That ball's going to plug the gap. A ground rule double in to score is Molina. Grudzelanik is three for three. He's a triple shy of heading for the cycle, and the Cardinals add to their lead. It's five to nothing. A walk, a bunt, and a double, and the Cardinals now lead by five. Ball out away from him. He's been spraying around. We talk about a gap hitter, and he has demonstrated that today. Mark Grudzelanik has been terrific. He needs a triple for the cycle. First time up, home run. Second time up, a single. Later scored. And then an RBI ground rule double in the right center field. So how about a triple? He can erase John Mabry's name from the media guide as the last Cardinal player. I don't think the truck would honor that. You don't? No. They love Mabes too much? Yeah. They like Grizzolonic, though. Well, they like Grizzolonic, but uh, it, it might be you change it to the, the last two cycles. Owen won the count on Mark. Owen two, the count on Mark. The problem is the guy he wears out, Victor Santos, is out of the game. 10 out of 19 against Santos, including three for three today. Here comes an 0-2. The opposite way, that ball is going to get down fair. Rudzelanik has at least a double. Keep on running, Mark. Over to third he goes, and he'll make it without a play. We'll wait and see how they score it. It could be a double and an error or a triple in the cycle. Yeah, it's beyond our sight lines when you get down that corner, and it took Jenkins a long time to dig it out. So we'll see what happens down here in the corner. Oh, I think you got to play it as a triple. I do, too. It got behind him. If it is, that's the cycle. And they're going to throw the ball in, so it's a triple and the cycle. Mark Grizzolonic. The, the last two cycles, John Mabry and Grizzolonic. And look at John's first one to applaud. He knows it. He did it out in Colorado, and Grizzolonic does it by going homer, single, double. And then that ball down in the corner got behind Jenkins. And a triple for Grizzolonic. And John Mabry picked up his 13th RBI of the season last night. He was on base three times and batting a cool 302. And it's hit hard out to right center. Mabry stayed with it as Marvin Freeman hung the ball a bit about belt high. As this pitch was out over the plate where the first couple of sliders were in on the hands a little bit more. John did his job and did it well. Mabry stays alive to count one and two. Nobody on or out. Gaetti is homered. And Mabry rips one down the line. Another one-two pitch, and Mabry's two for two. Thinking about a double. Bichette gets it back in. It is a double. This one down and in. The pitches that he had trouble, you know, had trouble with Mabry with it a little bit up and in on it. That one he leaves it over the inner half a little bit, and Mabry likes it there. For the second time, Al, Marvin Freeman has had Mabry one and two and let him get off the hook. An opposite field home run by Langford to make it a three to one Cardinal lead. Gaetti the runner. Big hole on the right side of the infield for Mabry. He's already pulled two through the right side. He hits this one to center. Walker going back at the wall over his head. Gaetti will try to score. Here comes Gaetti. He will score. Mabry ends up at third. It's an RBI triple. And it's four to one St. Louis. Joe, you don't often see balls get over the head of a center fielder and not go out of the ballpark. And now Mabry lacks only the home run to hit for the cycle. And in this ballpark, you have a good chance of acquiring that. John sitting on that three for three, batting 318. Could John Mabry possibly do the improbable here? Single, double, triple so far. Has not homered since opening day. 2-0. There's a drive to right center. Out toward the gap. And the ball is gone. 
It's the cycle for Mabry. And he's gone right up the ladder in his four at bats. A right center field home run here in the seventh inning. The second home run of the year. He gives the Cardinals two more. Nice going, John Mabry. Who's the last to hit for the cycle? John Mabry. John Mabry hitting 323 now. And Al Roboski, what a progression of hitting. It all started back in the second with a base hit up the middle. When it started, he was a very slow learner, so he started with a single. <laughs> then he heard about doubles in the fourth inning. It's a good time to do it. Then he started getting a little greedier and wanted to go for a triple. He hadn't learned how to slide yet, so he has to turn on the speed and make it all the way around. And then in the seventh inning, he completes the cycle with a round triple. Nice going, John Mabry. That's a lot of total bases for one night right there, folks. Time for the candidate for the Rookie of the Year honors. More power in the third slot. He's going to drive in more runs, even though Lankford does have 58 RBIs. And he hits one down the line, and he can fly. It'll be at least a double over there to field it as carry on he makes a big turn at second and holds so Langford with a double leading off here for the Cardinals now the first batter today matching the hit total that Shorek had during his last start when he one hit the Expos last Tuesday Langford hits a pretty good pitch fastball on the corner and he just pokes it down the line so a runner in scoring position with no one out and Ozzy Smith the batter Ozzy is hitless in this series. And another one sliced to left field. This time it'll be a single and Langford with his second hit of the game. Called a sports director Jeff Hullinger of WAGA in Atlanta and ask him for his two seats for that night for yesterday afternoon's games. Ground ball down the line hit by Ray Langford and he has another extra base hit. In the corner he should have a triple. And he does. Langford with a chance now for the cycle a single a double and a triple in this first three at bats. He doubled in the first, single and scored a run in the third, and now tripling with one out here in the fifth inning. It's a just by Mackie Sasser at first base, and it rattles around in the corner. And to complete that story, Vander Holyfield closed the game yesterday, and he has two seats under the scoreboard in straightaway center field. Fulton County Stadium in Atlanta, about 500 feet from home plate. Here's a fellow here who can do something that's hard to do, the cycle. Well, he hits one deep to center. Back is McReynolds, out of here. A home run for Lankford, and Ralph Kiner is so prescient. <laughs> wow. You've heard that expression out of the mouths of babes? Not exactly so. At least it was out of my mouth. Wow! The cycle, a single, a double, a triple, and a home run for Ray Langford. There it is. It's a fastball, and he does it the hard way over the center field fence, 414 feet away. Ball one to Willie McGee. So many of the players, you can see the top of the barrel of the bat by McGee, that hollowed out portion. Where they take a few ounces on the top. Hitters feel their bat is more balanced. Get more weight in the hitting area. Oh, this could be in there, down the right field line. Moreland won't get there, and it'll clear the bases. Cinderella scores. Lonnie Smith right behind him. Ozzy coming in. Willie McGee will be in with a triple. And it's 6-1 to one, St. Louis. Obert 
Seinfeld deal. Left-handed pitcher Ken Daly has been hit hard in both his outings as a Cardinal. They also got the veteran first baseman Mike Jorgensen who has played some in a St. Louis uniform as well. This might make it through the hole. Boa can't flag it down and a two-out single for McGee. Ken Daly trying to refine that curveball. He gets that curveball back. He's going to help this ball club. Love and didn't hit the dirt. Jody Davis catching has improved tremendously this year with the help of Johnny Oates, bullpen coach. 2 1 pitch is drilled to very oh, deep right. Moreland for a look, but it is gone. Willie McGee is three for four with a single, a triple, and now a home run. Still see those home runs Willie McGee hit. Postseason play in the Cardinals championship year, and there were similar kinds of pitches. Left-handed, balls down and in. Up or two, and they get just thrown out bang bang. He'll be trying to pull the ball, but he doesn't. This could be a base hit. Matthews racing toward it, can't get to it. Ozzie Smith rounds third, he'll score. Willie McGee has a four-hit day, and he has hit for the cycle. Willie McGee had a triple in the second, a single in the fourth. Sixth, and now a double in the tenth. Six RBIs for Willie McGee. Last one hit for the cycle was it Lou Brock for this Cardinal team? Show you how funny this game is with Ozzie Smith at second base, nobody out. You want your hitter to pull the ball to give himself up. Not McGee, he went the other way. Gets the gravy. 